coming in from behind has taken the mark. Now Cook has played pretty well today. We hope to have a talk with uh, Fred after the game too. He plays it out towards uh, King. King now can't break away. He's in a bit of trouble. Tries to break away again. Being grabbed. Evans and Murray desperate to get that ball up on their forward zone. A lot of crowding. Umpire will possibly pull up play as it goes close to the boundary line. But it's King who puts it, uh, picks it up. Plays it towards the wing. No one can take the mark. Moving through here is hot, uh, rather um, Nish. Nish turns around towards that half forward line. That was Stevenson. Phil Stevenson, I'd say, in there. And the umpire says the free kick will be taken by the VFA. Mannix will take it. Well, Mannix now from the right half back flank. Getting ready with the kick, he puts it on its way towards the wing on the eastern side of the ground, right through the hands of several players, until eventually it's uh, taken by Big Tate, Tate up towards the half-forward line, and this is dangerous for the VFA. This is Britain, who has the ball now at the 23-minute mark into the final quarter. Uppers and Murray doing all the attacking, up they go! It comes through towards Howard Smith, he went for the hand pass, straight for the boundary line under pressure, and it's over the line and out. There's a player in trouble. He doesn't want to get up in a hurry. That was uh, Stevenson. Now uh, comes back into play. Taken uh, here by Cook, who in desperation puts it high in the air, and it's gone out on the full, has it? And it'll be a free kick to be taken by Britain of the Ovens and Murray side. Five points of difference. VFA 18-11, Ovens and Murray 17 goals, 12. And it comes once again across towards the centre forward zone. They rise for it. The man in front, Cook, but the umpire doesn't allow it. It's a hand pass out of the pack. It can be over the shoulder. Here's could be a mark. Mightn't travel the distance. Pushed by the players towards the behind post. And it's through for another point. So the Ovens and Murray League go on to 17-13. It is now four points of difference with the VFA 18-11, 119 at the 24-minute mark. Still plenty of time for the uh, Evans and Murray League to get up Reed. then. Uh, didn't make a strong attempt at a mark, and it was dribbled over the line and out. Well, I don't know. You just saw the trainer go out of view there. And he's been out there directing play by the Ovens of Murray Lug who trail by five points. Getting up high for the Ovens of Murray League, knocking the ball down. It comes out to his teammate here in uh, Jim Britton. Uh, Britton uh, gets the ball to the half forward line. Uh, coming downfield is uh, Ein Sedell for the VFA. Puts it down towards Holt number 22 on the half forward line. But the ball is knocked away for the Ovens of Murray League by uh, Mike Andrews. And it's out of bounds between centre wing and the VFA half forward flank position. Philip Gibbs. Five points the difference, Don, and we're 20 minutes into the final quarter. The ball comes through towards Hobbs of the VFA. Tap on by Maguire. It comes uh, up uh, further upfield. Bit of pick up here and a shot uh, by Nish down towards centre half forward. But the mark has been taken in defence by Haywood of the VFA team. Haywood now towards centre half forward. Oh, and look at that. Uh, that was unnecessary too, as Andrews was bumped into the ground. It comes up towards uh, Gibbons. Gibbons now up towards the half forward line. Players set themselves down here, but Robertson tried to take the mark. Failed to do so. Umpire uh, should have paid it possibly, but Britton is the player who's being uh, belted into the ground, but it's gone over the line and out. And it will be a throw in from that left half forward flank for the Ovens of Murray Lee. They're five points down. The VFA 18 11, Ovens of Murray League, 17 goals, 12. I tell you what, there's been a VFA trainer out on the ground for the last five minutes, which is ridiculous. Just waiting for the umpire to give the decision, a ball up. All right, now here's a kick out of the pack. It comes back towards uh, Maguire. Maguire with a hand pass through towards King. King to the wing on the eastern side of the ground, but it's been out on the full, and the free kick will be taken by Andrews. Here's the kick now on its way towards that half forward line, but staying there on the back line was Ayn Sedell. He's played a pretty consistent game throughout the day for the VFA. Players are starting to crowd too. But uh, there's, um, there's the VFA trainer out on the ground. He's been standing around the centre there for the last seven or eight minutes. And that's about all he's been doing. But Mike Andrews now on the wing, on the eastern side of the ground. And Andrews now sends the kick up towards the uh, centre half forward zone and Cook coming in from behind has taken the mark. 
Now, Cook has played pretty well today. We hope to have a talk with uh, Fred after the game, too. He plays it out towards uh, King. King now can't break away. He's in a bit of trouble. Tries to break away again. Being grabbed. Evans and Murray desperate to get that ball up on their forward zone. A lot of crowding. Umpire will possibly pull up play as it goes close to the boundary line. But it's King who puts it, uh, picks it up. Plays it towards the wing. No one can take the mark. Moving through here is hot, uh, rather um, Nish. Nish turns around towards that half forward line. That was Stevenson. Phil Stevenson, I'd say, in there. And the umpire says the free kick will be taken by the VFA. Mannix will take it. Well, Mannix now from the right half back flank. Getting ready with the kick. He puts it on its way towards the wing on the eastern side of the ground. Right through the hands of several players until eventually it's uh, taken by Big Tate. Tate up towards the half forward line and this is dangerous for the VFA. This is Britain who has the ball now at the 23 minute mark into the final quarter. Up to Murray doing all the attacking. Up they go. It comes through towards Howard Smith. He went for the hand pass straight for the boundary line under pressure and it's over the line and out. There's a player in trouble. He doesn't want to get up in a hurry. That was uh, Stevenson. Uh, comes back into play. Taken uh, here by Cook, who in desperation puts it high in the air, and it's gone out on the full, has it? And it'll be a free kick to be taken by Britain of the Ovens of Murray side. Five points of difference. VFA 1811, Ovens of Murray 17 goals 12. And it comes once again across towards the centre forward zone. They rise for it. The man in front, Cook, but the umpire doesn't allow it. It's a hand pass out of the pack. It can be over the shoulder. Here's could be a mark. Mightn't travel the distance. Pushed by the players towards the behind post and it's through for another point. So the Ovens and Murray League go on to 17-13. It is now four points of difference with the VFA 1811, 119 at the 24 minute mark. Still plenty of time for the uh, Ovens of Murray League to get up. Reed then uh, didn't make a strong attempt at a mark and it was dribbled over the line and out. Well, I don't know. You just saw the trainer go out of view there. And he's been out there directing play which definitely should not be allowed and somebody should take it into their hands to order him off. There goes the kick towards the wing on the outer side of the ground and it's over the line and out of bounds. What do you think about that, Doc? I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the man should have more sense himself for a start, but certainly some official here should get him off the ground. He's not supposed to be there. Right, let's uh, get back to the more important thing and uh, look at the ovens of Murray coming into attack again to the full forward zone. Looks like almost a push in the back there. It's right in front of the Ovens of Murray goal. And it's a free kick going to Robertson, who's been a, a good player in defence for the uh, VFA today. He kicks it wide to the centre wing. The VFA trying to get into attack. Punched away by Holmes. Onto the Ovens of Murray half-forward line. Taken over here by Hobbs of the VFA. He's going to have to kick it quickly. A poor kick. He gets it up to Warwick Yates. Yates to Cook. Cook for the VFA to the half-forward line, putting them into attack. It's all Ovens of Murray as it's knocked away for them over there by Peter Gibbons. And over the line it goes, and a throw-in coming up. Only four points the difference. The VFA in front, and we're 25 minutes into the final quarter of this game being played at the Bunton Oval in North Aubrey. Great play is out on of the uh, Ovens of Murray. Picks the ball up on the half-back line, gets it down towards the centre wing. Desperate play by the Ovens of Murray League as they try to... Um, get the ball into attack it's out towards Hobbs again and he will put the VFA back into attack with a hand pass across to Alan Mannix Mannix a hand pass across to Holt Holt is on the half forward line sends it into the forward pocket only to see the mark taken down here in defence by uh, Peter Taylor Peter Taylor a long hand pass across to Andrews Mike Andrews of the Ovens of Murray League a prodigious kick to the half forward line they're right into attack but a great mark to Howard Smith Cooley under pressure. He plays it out towards uh, Derek King. Uh, King uh, lets the ball run past to Maguire. Maguire, a hand pass to King. It comes up, though, to uh, Foreman. Foreman of the VFA. A hand pass across to Robertson coming through. And the VFA into attack again. Not a well-directed kick. The ball knocked away. An opportunity here for the Ovens of Murray side to come into attack. Good play by Cook. Strong play by Fred Cook on the half-forward line. He kicks it into the full forward zone. And it's marked for the VFA within kicking distance by Ethel Hodgetts. 
who was only 25 metres out directly in front. And he can be a very indifferent kick at times too, Don. We saw him in the match against Brunswick last week when he kicked four six, I think it was. So he's not all that accurate with his kicking. So it could go anywhere, perhaps this one, but it's a very crucial kick because the VFA lead by a meagre four points at the moment. A goal here could probably wrap it up for them. Ethel Hodgetts. Yes, it's a goal, and the VFA in the time on period in the final quarter go to a 10-point lead. Lay underway again in the centre, knocked down by Warwick Yates, but it's uh, taken here for the ovens of Murrayside and uh, driven into attack onto their half-forward line. Smets is there, the ball knocked away from him. A chance down here as we see the ball picked up by Scott. Scott, let's fly. One point. But a goal would have made all the difference. The margin now nine points. The VFA in front and an exciting finish here at the Bunton Oval in North Albury. This combined match between the VFA and the Ovens and Murray League. Howard Smith, the captain of the VFA side, kicking off from the fullback position. And he finds a Haywood there to take the mark. Haywood towards Maguire. The, knock, uh, the ball knocked away by Allen. Maguire didn't move. He stood and waited for the ball to come. And now it's back to Phil. Right, Don, the ball being thrown back into play on the forward line of the Ovens and Murray League. No one able to trap it at the moment, as we saw coming through Smets of the uh, Ovens and Murray side. And uh, there we find uh, little uh, Breeze uh, getting away. He gets the hand pass to Mick McGuire, but there goes the siren to end the match. And it is a win, and a fortunate win to the VFA. The Ovens and Murray League fought it right out in the final term. And uh, the final score, the VFA, 19 goals, 11. A total of 125 to the Ovens of Murray, 17-14. A total of 116. All right, boys, let's have a uh, check up. It's a very hard game. <laughs> How hard do you reckon, Fred? That's the hardest game of football I've played for as long as I can remember, probably the last three or four years. Why is I've, that? I've probably had a um, reasonably easy playing at full four where there's not as much running about yeah. but uh, that last quarter I had to run on the ball and everything was at stake and you, you're tired and you've got to keep going on it's, it's, it was really hard What about the nick in your, uh, near your eye there? Where'd you get that? I fell on a guy's fist running through the ball the woods <laughs> Just happened to fall on it Fall on his fist, I'm, I hope it didn't hurt him Alright Fred, how do you feel yourself for this season? I feel, um, I feel keen to, have a, to go on and have a good season um, I, I've trained hard and